Hello, my name is Richard, and you recently downloaded a resource guide highlighting the five conversation tools that I use to enhance my ability or effectiveness within any conversation. And they are, well, number one, to be interested. In other words, you're focusing on them instead of trying to be interesting on yourself. Two, you opine only when invited, a very powerful tool, also a challenging to learn how to do. Respect personal boundaries, which is often the cause of why people take advantage of you and why you don't feel satisfaction within a conversation. Next is to not be an attorney, if you will, to ask questions with the intent to understand. Most people ask questions with the intent to respond. That is a blind spot and really creates friction with any conversation. And finally, a neutral position when conversing, and I'll cover that more detail in the fifth video. This is one of five. Now, each of us comes to the table in any relationship with a different set of blueprints. Communication blueprints are the rules of engagement for, we ha for how we handle conflict, decisions, contention, happiness, trial, intimacy, etc., uh, when I got married uh, to my wife, Sherry, our blueprints were vastly different. When we met, the learning experience was fascinating. I got to know how she thought and how she reacted to things. But meeting my future in-laws didn't go very well. There was, as it were, a communication blueprint collision. The way of them, their way of doing things didn't harmonize with mine. Now, I got an undergraduate degree in political science, and I had training in conflict resolution. But I didn't have training in working in the family arena. Often when we learn about a great concept or tool, we see the benefit for others. For example, if my wife would only stop nagging me and start using this tool, I'm sure I'd be much happier. Or, and this I hear a lot, I'm not going first. If my spouse goes first or if my team will do it or my coworker will do it, then I'll go ahead and try. Trying to get others to change first is a recipe for disaster. The key to learning how to develop confidence in conversations, how to make more friends, how to build an executive team, or how to increase your, your sales starts with you and your social skills. skills. Coming from an outside-in approach is the same as talking about behavior with the intent to change behavior. It doesn't work. Focusing on the principles of successful conversation tools does, and it starts with you. Trying to get others to change throws up this huge barrier. It's like an outside wall. It's an outside-in approach. However, putting all of your energy into the only person over whom you can exercise control, which is you, is an inside-out approach. The principle of proper behavior, which is how one behaves, and you um, are the key elements to learning these. And I'm giving you five tools uh, in this resource guide in these videos on which to work. Again, they are to be a TED, be interested in others, opine only when invited, respect your own boundaries first, learn to ask questions with the intent to understand, and having a neutral position in conversations without a bias. Bruce Lee said, wise men don't need to prove their point. Men who need to prove their point aren't wise. Our environment has conditioned us and deemed it socially acceptable to become emotionally attached to being right. Leadership and friendship are not correlated to being right, but rather to being safe. There are two positions within a conversation. The first is a TED. The other is a TING. So how does one become a TED? Well, a TED is someone who is interested. It is someone who asks questions, seeks understanding, learns how to listen, neutrally I might add, and learns how to be present in that space to give undivided attention. Within a basic conversation, it requires a minimum of one TED. In other words, someone must be asking questions. If no one is asking questions, we've got two tings. We don't have a conversation. It's more like a ting jam where everyone is just focused on themselves and nobody cares to understand. Everybody wants to get the others to hear their point of view. There's no depth to this type of a conversation. There's no real depth to that relationship. There's no mutual trust and respect developed. 
It's simply a way of manifesting your own thoughts. A ting is someone who seeks to have you agree with them. They want to be heard, and they're more concerned with who is right instead of what is right. This is basic Econ 101. If you have a lot of opinions, in other words, your supply is high, there is almost never a demand for those opinions. People don't come up to you and say, hey, I need more of your opinions. I can't get enough of them. The number one mistrusted profession in the United States of America is a used car salesman. Now, there are a lot of others in the top 10 who all use the exact same techniques as used car salesmen, and they are one to persuade. Persuade means to seduce or to deceive. It is also a euphemism for torture. The other is manipulation. That is a control or influence used cleverly. It's unfair and it's unscrupulous. Now, these are the two main tools used in almost all sales techniques inside of a courtroom often uh, when managers bully, when corporations try to get their way. They oftentimes then will limit the truth or the information. Withholding information in the olden days was the, according to the social scientist, was the way it was done. That's no longer true today. If you're withholding information, you're bullying. There will not be safe space. And oftentimes we stretch the truth, outright lie, or use intimidation. So for any parent, any leader, any mentor, spouse, when you try to convince others, you will reduce the safety inside of that space. You are, in effect, like a used car salesman. So here's your challenge, if you're up to this. Find five people with whom you can have a conversation. It can be anyone, preferably somebody you don't know, because it's easier. Try to hold a conversation that lasts five minutes. Keep the attention on the other person. Try not to bring it back to yourself. Focus very intently on what they're saying and learning how to ask questions based upon their responses. So just listen, ask questions. If they ask you a question, go ahead and answer it and then try to move it back to them. And then monitor how you feel. I wish you success in this. This is a challenge, but it's a very rewarding one. All the best. I'll see you in the next video.